There we go, boys. Arena PvP on the Europe server. Let's go, baby. I finished in Legend League. And damn, it was rough. It was rough. Like, the problem was that there was double drop rate Spirit Altar going on. And it was the last one I needed to farm, farm, farm. So I had to bounce between Spirit Altar and the arena. And I was getting attacked like crazy. So, yeah, I had to, like, climb back up, and uh, it, it worked out. Like, I was, like, at the end, I was, like, 50, I don't know, like, 55 points above the, the, the threshold where I would have dropped into cha uh, champion. So, it worked out, and my defense was, uh, it got a few victories. And, uh, yeah, I was using uh, Phyllis on defense, and, like, she's really tanky. And uh, that's my defense right here. That's my defense. And uh, Katis and Ken from Selective Summon. Cecilia from the uh, free 5-star summoning ticket. So, I right, definitely lucked out there. And Phyllis was a uh, one of my Moonlight Summons. <clears throat> as well as Chaos Akax. Auxiliary Lots. <laughs> Guider Ether. Yeah, really, really good luck. Really good luck. Uh, free to play. Yeah, you guys heard it million times but this is just for like newer players like <clears throat> not spending anything not spending anything and uh, just enjoy it. like i enjoy enjoy doing it that way okay god okay dina fought that player before let's see let's see let's see let's see can i tank so wait so i'm gonna attack dina i can attack the first player as well Mm, I can attack the second player as well. Uh, there's no sustain on that team. The third player doesn't have sustain as well. They have no sustain at all. Okay. Now the issue is uh, that four team says might be just too much. I might have to pause the recording because, well, it's a bit long at the end against Kral. So... Yeah, I've got Orius on Cecilia because Phyllis taking too much damage if she's wearing it. Um, I was recommended to uh, use the Soul Burn of Ken to uh, so I kill with Ken like his skill two on Vildred, and I, I Soul Burn so I get an extra turn and then he comes back and boom skill three uppercut his face and uh, yeah hopefully kill him or at the very least stun or attack the buff or both so that's a good recommendation thanks for that and i i don't know how i missed it it's probably because during my battles i'm soul burning the uh, healing from akatis a lot because there's a lot of damage going on so first thing first Gotta pop this Vildred. The damage is not so bad, really. It's mostly about... Mm, it's mostly about uh, Arbiter Vildred. Especially when he comes back with the attack buff. Especially that. So Ken got an upgrade in uh, health. I got his necklace and ring to plus 15. I'll show you the, uh, the gear at the end of the video. Like, uh, what the? Okay, I thought he survived for some reason with uh, like one health. Let's go with... Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up. There's some... Uh, Vildra is going to get uh, popped. Judith, I hope I can kill her before. Okay, we've got the defense buff. So with my team composition, I could pop Vildra now. Because it's going to lower his damage by a lot. Are you just gonna die this year, man? Oh my god. 
Yeah, let's have everyone lose the defense buff, shall we? Fallis, she gonna do it. She gonna do it. Yeah. Cause like that's the thing, it's too long to like build that soul burn. Oh, it was ready if I waited on that skill. Oh my god! What the hell? Oh, the survive though. That was ultra clutch. Cause she didn't have the defense buff and plus the Aureus. <laughs> it's just too much. Okay, you're dying, buddy. Mm, that's definitely overkill. But I want Vigor buff. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see how much damage it deals. With uh, 24.6k uh, health. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Vigor increases his attack and defense by 30%. And it cannot be removed. Oh, you're not killing uh, Cecilia just yet. I guess, Crow, you're going to have to use that uh, S3. All right, so I'll come back to you guys in a second. Well, looks like he's going to die right here. Didn't have time to uh, use his uh, skill to report you, Crow. Decoration Crow, like I said in the past. Okay, now let's fight something more exciting. Let's go player number two. I should have opened up with this fight, to be honest. That other battle probably made some uh, some people fall asleep. So <laughs> hopefully you're still watching because I'm about to get my ass whooped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then some damage here. And then the real damage now. Oh no! Oh my god! And you just can't resist that! It's, you just can't resist it, man! It's like three! It's three chances! Just ridiculous! After that buff! Super crazy hero now. Okay. <laughs> Cecilia is uh, is gonna rip. That we know. Now, Phyllis, please provoke her. Yes! Yo, you, you better slow down, girl. Okay, we got defense buff. No! Oh my god! I can't even see her health bar. Okay. Who else need attack uh, down debuff? Hmm. No one really. Maybe I get the dual attack. And I don't. Well, that's it. I think we're dead. Okay, we are definitely dead. <clears throat> Well, worth a try. So, I should probably dodge this player. This uh, first player, his rating is around mine, so if I win this, it's going to be some points. 10, maybe. Now, this fight, I don't know how I could die. That's what I think. That I don't know how I could die on this one. Because uh, there's no defense down. And uh, yeah, my team with uh, three fire heroes. That's, that's it. Like, they can't do anything. I don't even need to heal. I mean, they can't do that. They can stall. I mean, I've... I fought like teams like this and Vildred was like the luckiest. Like he lands critical hits on my whole team and I'm running three fire heroes. Like, alright buddy, congrats. 
Congrats, man. Let's just take out the Rosie because he uh, he's giving them too many turns. The damage is starting to uh, go up. That files DPS, man. 1.7k. She's built full defense. 2.2k defense, like 2,283, something like that. Yeah, there's diminishing return. I know, I know. But Ori is not on her, and let's just go for damage. Ori is not on her, and um, more defense means, well, easier to heal with uh, Akatis, especially because she heals off of her max heal, uh, max health on her healing. So very easy to top up Phyllis, which I built mostly for PVE. PVP was just like. Yeah, I can use her. I can use her in uh, uh, offense because the AI likes to attack her. So, sure. You go right ahead and keep on attacking her. <laughs> and you keep on giving that defense buff, which I love. Now, in defense, yeah, I mean, she can be dodged. Sometimes, I mean, they will have to deal with her at some point. So, of course, heroes that penetrate defense 100% chance are definitely gonna one-shot her, but not everyone has those heroes, so there's that. And, uh, yeah, she's easy to heal. The issue is that I kind of want to run two healers in, on my team. I want to run two healers. That'd be really cool. But, like, yo, if, if I decide to take out Ken, where's my damage? I mean, Cecilia, okay, sorry girl, like, you can do some damage, but not quite like Ken. Ken, on the other hand, he, he's just crazy. He's crazy, he's got the max health scaling on, her, on his skills, and, I mean, the whole kit is crazy on him. The whole thing is really, really good. I mean, that's why I took him in Selective Summon. That was the whole purpose. I'm farming Golem 11. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. I, I'm playing, uh, yeah, a lot. A lot. Like, that. that's not some normal hours for a mobile game. I'm playing 15 hours on average per day until my Skystones are depleted. Which won't be too long now. I think two weeks max. Yo, I need to speed this up. I need to speed... I'm not winning player number three. That's just not happening with Sez. Um, team five, team... Ooh. Team four can kill me. Uh, the defense down is uh, pretty sick. Let's go team five. Let's to be honest, I don't know how I can lose this one. I just don't know how I can lose this one. Yeah, they can kind of stall... Uh, okay, there's a way to maybe uh, lose this, actually. It's uh, this fallen Cecilia if she keeps on provoking my Akatis. Yeah, that, that's how I would lose, I think. Because she's got such a good chance to... Uh, she's always taking a lot of damage, but uh, not enough. Now, to, to like bait the enemy team, that's the thing. That's why Aureus would be really good on Phyllis. And to wear Aureus, I need to have more health. So I might, I might, I will have to switch one piece, one piece on the right side to health percentage main stat and put Aureus on her. So they're going to do their thing, right? And so Phyllis is going to be the one with the lowest health on the team, <coughs> hopefully. And then that's going to bait the AI into attacking her. Okay, I just switched target for no reason. And uh, putting attack down on Rosie just because I don't care, it looks like. I, I just, I'm just going back to the initial plan of killing that Rosie. <laughs> He's just giving too many turns. Look at the tanking. Like, look how tanky this group is. It's just insanity. <laughs> it's 
so many turns. The wrong hero is tanking. That's the thing. So what I could do, right? What I could do, that would be an easy fix. It would be to uh, put that health into uh, onto Phyllis, put Orius on her. Now my knight position's covered. Now I can replace Cecilia with another healer. I have Angelic Momorancy. Uh, I think that's the perfect one. Okay, I should have healed Cecilia. Now she, oh god, she's dead. Okay, she somehow survived. I don't know how that happened, but she did. I think there was no critical hits going on my team, or very few didn't pay too much attention to it. I was just like tunnel visioning her health bar and be like, don't die. Okay, you, you gotta chill now. Oh my god, she's dead. My team is ultra slow. All right, guys, I'll come back to you because this is like the longest battle ever. I'll win this. I don't know how I would lose, but I will I will win it this year, hopefully. Yeah, that Shuri plus uh, Rosid is giving them like infinite turns, basically. And I will probably end up dying from arena damage. But yeah, stay tuned for uh, how it went. This stupid Shuri, he better die here. I mean, there's no way he doesn't die, so yeah, he's dead. But my Katis is also dead. <clears throat> yep, okay, I lost, so good lord, that was the dumbest battle because I should have focused, I should have, uh, like, paid more attention to it so the arena damage is just too much and uh, this Rosid just doesn't want to die and uh, what happened is that this fallen Cecilia because Akatis was getting low health she uh, she started to provoke Akatis and uh, yep that's the end of this one that's what happened it's just like she get provoked when she's uh, when we're in critical need of healing, and I just rip. So that yeah, that battle though. Let's hmm, let's try our luck. Let's try our luck. Welcome. Wait, how long is there? 13 minutes, whatever. Can we tank it? So I just, I feel like, yeah, putting that Orius on file is upping her health. That's definitely the best thing I can do. Rest. Because the AI is just going to focus on her. That's gonna, just gonna make things so much easier because Cecilia is taking a bunch of damage. Akatis is scaling off of her max health. So it's really hard for Akatis to heal, well, high health heroes. So uh, I don't know how I resisted all these uh, defense down. It was maybe it didn't trigger or I just get resists. So at this point, I won this. I just need to survive the initial damage. And yeah, Cecilia being attacked once again. So... Vildred. I feel like skilling up that uh, skill 2 of uh, Ken is just so good. It's just so good. It's there's so many times where I could have like one shotted someone, and that's another problem with the team, uh, with the speed. When a cat is goes on turn uh, the second time, well, Cecilia is right behind her, so she cannot use that immortality for too long. So that that's an issue definitely, and she's like borderline dead. 
Borderline dead. Let's just take out this Judith, man. She is super annoying with uh, her stuns. So I'll get right on that. And uh, she goes in stealth, of course. Let's provoke her. Nope, so Cecilia is going to get ripped in half. Not even going to take Judith out of stealth because the damage is so terrible in that skill. God, just focus on her, man. Definitely. Oh my god. It's only her. It's fine. I won this. <laughs> That's what I said on the last battle. I won this, and then there's they're getting like a billion turns before I get mine. And nope. <laughs> Yeah, really having them focus on Phyllis would be major help. Her damage is ridiculous. Just ridiculous damage. Okay, man, like... Are you kidding me? What the hell? Yeah, might as well go on her. Perfect. Then it is a critical hit. Alright, so this one is one. I might not be able to show my gear. Man, I'm gonna run out of time. I wanted to do more battles, but these these stall fests, or like it's basically just my team being super slow. I need to pick my fights with zero sustain. Even at Fallen Cecilia, man, that's some sustain. That is some sustain. Let's fight. Okay, Driller, that is a lot of damage. Let's fight. Okay, let's fight Driller. Or not. Let's just do it. <clears throat> let's just do it. <clears throat> let's see how much damage... Okay, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a win. Just gonna take out Sid because he's the biggest threat. He's got defense down, and uh, well, I mean Bell is definitely an annoying hero. But yeah, team wide provoke. <laughs> That's the thing though, I don't really need that Provoke because like teams like this, I can just tank the damage. Oh, I should have went for Provoke here. That was, I should have went for skill one. I didn't need that Absorb. It's it's a small amount of uh, like shield, but yeah, let me pause here. All right, so it was a win, of course, and uh, I wish I could do more battles, but out of time because I'm going to run out of space. So skill ups, hopefully I have time to show you guys this. <clears throat> and the stats, almost 2300 on Phyllis, her defense. Ken has some beast stats. The boots are, yeah, they need some work. <clears throat> I mean, they, they're not that good, but still... The uh, Daydream Joker is definitely not the artifact I should be wearing for PvP. So there's that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, work on getting more health on Phyllis, putting Orius on her and testing that out for you guys. And... Wait, yeah, that's the last hero. <laughs> and, well, yeah, 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 there's that too. There is that. I need to go craft these. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Tips, and How-Tos, and Abyss Floor 62 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And, uh, yeah, I'll get right on this crafting. Peace out for now.